Hi, this is Shanna with Florabella Collection, and in this video I'll demonstrate how I edited this photo using the deluxe black and white actions and a texture from Texture Set 4. And in this video I'm working in Photoshop Elements 11, but there is a separate video for regular Photoshop. So the interesting thing about this photo is the before. Uh, slightly overexposed, just n not a great photo to me. It was a snapshot I had taken out by the pool. My daughter was wearing her bathing suit. She had found a snail and was very excited about it. And then she lost her snail and she was sad about it. And um, I loved her expression and I, I loved the memory of that day. We ended up finding the snail, but in any case, this is the image. I wanted to um, keep it, but I didn't like it in color. I didn't like any color edits and I wanted to make it more dramatic and moody. So I converted to black and white using black and white Raven, which is one of my favorite actions in the deluxe black and white set. So the first thing I did was I ran the black and white Raven action It's a very dark and moody action, and you could leave it just like that, but I wanted to illuminate her face and bring more attention to her expression and highlight some areas here. So this action, I'm just going to go ahead and close this panel. This action comes with some brush on options at the top. There's a dodge for selective lightening and a burn for selective darkening and also this brighten layer that you can click on and that's the first thing I did was I clicked on the brighten layer her face was a little too dark for me so and then here's the layer mask and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna paint with black on uh, the opacity at about maybe 35 percent and make my brush larger by clicking my right square bracket key and I'm just going to erase that brighten layer from the edges of the photo just to give it a little more drama. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do is just dodge or highlight some of the areas on the photo that I want to bring attention to. So here's my brush again. Uh, my opacity, I'll keep it at 35% and make it smaller. And I'm going to paint with white on my black mask to reveal, oops, I need to click that, to reveal that bright layer underneath, just to highlight the ruffles, any detail areas that you want to highlight, her scarf a little bit, um, maybe the highlights in her hair. And actually in this case, I think that I'm going to reduce the opacity way down to about 15% and just brush over her face a little bit. Let's see, before and after, I'm going to make those ruffles a little bit brighter down here. I love this bathing suit, I actually found it at Target. People always ask about her cute little bathing suits and honestly I think some of the cutest bathing suits for girls can be found at Target. Alright, so that's that. Now if I want to make it a little bit moodier, I can certainly raise the darken layer. I think that's what I'll do here to about 10% or so. So here we have the before and the after with the action. And if you just took the before and desaturated it, that's what it would look like. So I really wanted a moody black and white with some contrast and highlights and shadows. The only other thing I might do is add a texture. So I'm going to go into my texture set four and I'm going to add a texture called computer. Here it is. I'm just going to drag that on top of my PSE icon and drag it in here. There is my pewter texture. I'm going to open my photo bin so I can see what I have open here. I'm going to go back to my image that I'm working on. 
I'm going to go to the very top layer in this case, and I'm just going to grab my texture down here and drag it on. Okay, I'm going to close my photo bin so I can see what I'm doing. And now I'm going to press Control or Command on a Mac, Control or Command T. Little transform handles show up. And I can resize my texture to fit perfectly over my image. Click Enter or the little check mark. And now the texture, which is a gritty, sort of grainy texture with a little bit of uh, framing on the top and the bottom, is completely covering my image. And of course, I don't want that. So to use textures, you need to change the blending mode. I'm going to change the blending mode to soft light. And that adds what looks like a little film grain. And I actually like it over her skin, but if you don't like it on her skin, you can, there's several ways to take texture off of skin while retaining the tone of the texture. This texture has very little tone, so I could use a layer mask to remove it, but it does have sort of a pewter tone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint right on top of my texture with the same color as the texture. So first I need to sample a color of the texture. I'm going to click Alt and then this little eyeball or Option on a Mac. So Alt or Option and click the eyeball, grab my eyedropper sample tool. I think her face was right about here. So I'm just going to click there and that changes the color in my foreground. I'm going to Alt or Option, click on the eyeball again to make all my other layers appear. And I'm just going to grab my paintbrush tool with that color, opacity maybe about 80% or 85%. You can bring it up to 100 if you want no texture. And I'm just going to paint, and that really just smooths out her skin. I'm just going to paint wherever I don't want the texture but want to retain the tone. And likely what I'll do is bring it down to about 20 or 30 percent and just kind of go around her hair and little areas just to make the transition a little more smooth. So that just kind of made it a little more dramatic, gave it a slight tone, and added some grainy grit to make it a little more interesting. I can also go down here to my dodge layer and raise the opacity of that. And I think I will bring that to about 85%. So there you have it. You have your before and your after using black and white Raven from the deluxe black and white set and the texture called Pewter from Texture Set 4. And these sets can be found at floribellacollection.com. Thanks for watching.